Well, what kind of a sunless tan are you looking for? Are you looking for one that has a little bit of red in it? Or do you want something that's really golden-y? Or do you want that deep mocha color? Actually, once you understand that, your life as a sunless tanning artist will become exponentially more simple. A vlogging we will go, a vlogging we will go. Hello, I do not know. A vlogging we will go. Hey guys, I keep waiting to start the series because I think I'm gonna do something more formal, but now I'm just realizing if I wait to do that, it's just never gonna happen. So we're just gonna jump right in. And what this series is gonna be is a series that focuses on skincare with respect to sunless tanning. So that's gonna be skin science of sunless tanning, the products that we use, why certain products do certain things, why a younger person's skin will react this way and an older person's skin will react this way, um, and then a basic understanding of color theory so that you know which solution is best to apply to which client to achieve the ideal results. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just kind of break all that information down in little five minute clips. And two of my vlogs every week for the next couple of weeks are gonna talk about that. So don't forget to click that subscribe button. All right, today what we're gonna do is we're going to just look at the basics of color theory. Why is that important? Well, in play, everybody has different skin tones, warm, cool, you know, lighter skin, darker skin. And so to be able to understand why you need to use a solution that has maybe a purple or a violet undertone or a red undertone or a green undertone, you have to understand basic color theory because it's, it's actually, once you understand that, your life as a sunless tanning artist will become exponentially because you simple. will know this person has this color skin, so to achieve the ideal results for them, I have to use a solution which has this undertone. It, it is pay dirt every time. You will deliver a perfect sunless tan every single time once you understand basic color theory. Let's get started. Just a big, so here we go, we have this color wheel. Okay, and on a color wheel you have primary colors, secondary colors, and tertiary colors. Now that may sound confusing, but it is not at all. Let me show you how. So your primary colors are gonna be red, yellow, and blue. That's it. Those are the only three primary colors. And then you have secondary colors. And your secondary colors are green, orange, and purple. Then past that, anything that fills in the rest of the color wheel is called a tertiary color. And those can be created by combining two primaries, a primary with a secondary, or two secondaries. So they're just variations of those colors in combination. A good example of a tertiary color is if you take this green and this yellow and you mix them together, you get kind of a yellowy green. And the only other thing to note on the color wheel is when you have three colors right next to each other, those are called analogous colors. Orange to yellow, red to orange, now we're just gonna talk about real quickly how light or dark something is, what that means, and how that can affect your business. Any color, when you call it by its name, all that is is its hue. So for example, we'll use blue, okay? So blue, when we say blue, we are saying a color's hue. This color is blue. When you add white to any color, then you change its tint, okay? So tint is when you take any hue, and you add white. If I take blue and I add white, then I get a light blue. And depending on how much white I add, I have varying degrees of blue. So that's what tint is. Okay, now shade is when you take any hue, so let's go back to blue, and I add black. So if I take blue and I add black, then I'm affecting this hue's shade. So if I add black to this blue, it will now be known as dark blue or medium blue. Depending on how much black I add, I'm going to arrive at different depths of blue. The name is still blue, and then we call its descriptive portion, so light blue or dark blue, that's when we're talking about tint and shade. So that's super important to keep in mind as we go down the road. That's all that means. Tint is plus white, shade is plus black. You have warm colors and you have cool colors. And sometimes those tags are thrown around as if a color can only be warm or a color can only be cool. Now, of course, this could not be further from the truth. A warm color, and that would be anything over here, okay, has a yellow undertone to it. That's what it means. If you say that a color is warm, it means that it leans more towards yellow, okay? 
And if you say that a color is cool, that means that it leans more towards blue. And that's where we get all these tests about, you know, trying to understand, you know, are you warm or cool? And I will address that in future videos. Talk about any hue when we say, oh, that's a warm green or it's a cool green. All that means is how much yellow or how much blue. All colors can move up and down the spectrum or across from warm to cool, depending on how much yellow or how much blue you add to that color. The last thing that I'm gonna talk about here is something that's called a complementary color, okay? And what does that mean? That means the color that exists directly opposite on the color wheel. So let's say for instance that we have yellow, its complementary color is purple. It exists directly opposite. You have to understand the color wheel to understand what solution you need to put on the client's skin color. You just, you know, get a basic color wheel printed out from the internet. You can buy them if you want. Just grab a book that has a color wheel on it. So that in its most basic sense is color theory. And for our purposes right now, that's all you need to know. Now, why is all of that important? Everybody who gives a sunless tan, you're trying to arrive at some version of brown, right? Whether that's a very light golden brown, a reddish brown, or a deep mocha brown. And the reason why color theory is so important is you have to use the right undertone in the solution on the right skin type to arrive at the right finished, developed, sunless color that that client wants. It's not a one-size-fits-all type of a situation. Um, and that's why there are so many sunless tanning products on the market. And some people will, will try one and say, oh, I just, you know, I love this color. And another person will try it and say, oh, I hate that stuff. It did nothing for me. Those are both very true statements. And there are two reasons why, okay? Number one, everybody has an individual color preference about what they want their sunless tanning results to look like. And number two, based on the undertone of the solution, you're going to get a different result. So if the artist doesn't understand basic color theory, and if the artist isn't asking the client, you know, well, what kind of a sunless tan are you looking for? Are you looking for one that has a little bit of red in it? Or do you want something that's really golden-y? Or do you want that deep mocha color? Then without knowing what they want and where they started, you don't know which solution to use. So let's stop right there and don't forget to subscribe because I'm going to have a lot of these little videos coming out in the next few weeks. And if you're a sunless tanning artist or an aspiring sunless tanning artist, knowing where you're starting and where you're trying to go, these things are super, super important. These are professional tips that I have picked up after being in this industry for 13 years, owning my own sunless tanning manufacturing company. Um, this is why the true pros are true pros. And then you have some people who just grab a gun and put solution on anybody and, and then you get, you know, varying different results. I mean, sometimes you're going to get it right just because sometimes you're going to accidentally use the right solution with the right undertone. Um, but what I'm trying to do is to give you the tools to get it right every single time, because that's what I want for you because I have such a passion for sunless tanning. I think it really it really helps people to stay out of the sun and the sun is so terribly damaging if you have long periods of exposure. Learn this information and your sunless tanning business is gonna go through the roof. Bye guys.